So I am here to review Suicide Squad, and Suicide Squad was probably my second most anticipated movie of the year, right behind Rogue One, a Star Wars story. So that lets you know how hyped it was for this movie. Suicide Squad does star Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn, Will Smith as Deadshot, and Jared Leto as the Joker, respectively, and is directed by David Ayer, who has directed Fury, amongst a few other things. And David Ayer also wrote the script for this movie. All right, so first now let's get the positives out of the way. I did like the members of the Suicide Squad and how they interacted with each other. I thought the dynamic between Harley Quinn and Deadshot was really cool. Um, Captain Boomerang had some really cool lines. I like Killer Croc. All those people I did like, but they just... There was something that, like, I hate... I don't want to get into spoilers. I just... The squad itself was really cool, but the reason for forming and everything beyond that just would made no sense and pissed me off. Alright, so Deadshot, this little Funko Pop, was probably the best part of the movie right here he was freaking awesome will smith portrayed him amazingly he gave us a side of deadshot that i didn't know where he had a daughter that's not a spoiler it's in every trailer and we really feel for the character of deadshot why he's in prison you know he just wants to help his daughter pretty much and he's not really you know like a villain he's more of an anti-hero sort of like deadpool and i just thought he was really good he had humor he had backstory i liked his emotion i liked how will smith did it he had some kick-ass action scenes and i overall thought deadshot was the best part of the movie and we also had harley quinn this girl right here and she was shooting the movie and that was the very first time like deadshot i think that we have ever seen harley quinn portrayed in live action in a movie and i thought margot robbie did a really good job as harley quinn some of the lines i thought were cringeworthy but she had this one line with katana where she says something about if she's where she says something that um, uh, Katana smells like the scent of death, which was probably the biggest laugh in the whole movie for me. But I thought that was funny. But overall, Margot Robbie killed it as Harley Quinn, and I really liked how she looked. There were some amazing Easter eggs for comic fans on her original suit, which made me start clapping and everything. So Harley Quinn was awesome. There were also some cameos in this movie, and I don't want to really spoil it for if you didn't see the trailers but this dude right here had some really cool parts in the movie it's gonna it's gonna leave it at that and amanda waller who was played by viola davis was was really great she was probably probably the best villain in the dceu so far i think lex is great in the batman Superman ultimate edition but i thought she was really really good in this movie viola daily viola davis kills it and everything and then like i said earlier there were some amazing comic book easter eggs there was some stuff between the joker and harley quinn which i'm not going to spoil but there was a pretty iconic um graphic novel cover by paul dini that has the two of them and we see that kind of reimagined in the movie and there was a flashback and that was freaking awesome um and then I also thought the movie had a really good opening where it introduced all the main characters of the Suicide Squad and um, Rick Flagg also. We also got some Harley Quinn and Joker, which was pretty cool. All right, and now into what I really, really think of this movie. I don't want to say I hated Suicide Squad because I didn't hate it. I just am freaking pissed off at this movie. Like, what the hell did I just witness? I, oh my gosh, I saw this movie twice. And I, that was hard to get the good parts out of it because I didn't like almost anything in this movie. But there was so many things in this movie that I hated. And to start out with things that I hated, this little jerk. Alright, Joker and Suicide Squad. I don't know if you guys liked him. I know my friend Tanner hated him. I hated him. He was awful. I mean, he has this one, this isn't a spoiler really. He has this one line where this is exactly how he says it. Honka honka! Where he's talking about... Um, Common's character, and I was just like, "What? What is this?" And then the dude overacts, like uh, Jared Leto overacts so much. He's like, "Harley Quinn, what do we have here?" And like, oh, I, I freaking hated it so much. I have been watching clips of Heath Ledger's performance as the Joker in The Dark Knight just to cleanse myself of whatever garbage that dude did yeah break and i hated the joker like mm, i really hated it but besides the joker oh, i felt good to get off my chest besides that the pacing of this movie is crap you know at least for me and i saw this for the i saw this twice and i saw this second time with my friend victor and my cousin nevin shout out and you know you're 35 minutes into the movie and you already feel like they're gearing up for like the final battle and i'm like what is 
what is going on here? It, it, the music makes it sound like they're about to go into some grand final thing and like it's only 35 minutes in the movie and that doesn't make any sense. And then the script for this movie is terrible. There's some back and forth between Deadshot and Harley Quinn at the very end of this movie where Deadshot is saying like, something to Harley Quinn, Harley don't, don't do something. And then Harley's like, well, what has the world ever done for us? And this, this terrible dialogue. And then <laughs> part of the movie that basically cringed the most probably. And this was, this was in a trailer. So when uh, Will, Will Smith's Deadshot is like, so uh, we're some kind of suicide squad. I was like, that was awful. That was terrible. And then, like I said, the Joker it really pissed me off. Okay, and then Enchantress, Enchantress in this movie. I'm not gonna say what her like role in the movie is because I guess that could be a slight spoiler. But she was a glorified belly dancer in this movie. She was like doing this, and her head didn't move with her shoulders, and like her. Um, I don't. I can't say anything else. But she just pissed me off in this movie, and I just didn't find anything. Like, the reason for her being in this movie didn't make any sense. I'll talk about it more in my spoilers review, because, I mean, I have to go off on her, because I hated it. Um, and then a lot of characters were really underutilized. These two guys, Killer Croc, Captain Boomerang, I thought were pretty good in the movie for when they were in it, but they were barely, like, in the movie. Killer Croc had some good lines, Captain Boomerang had some good lines, but I didn't think they were used at all. Apparently, they cut out a scene where Batman goes and kind of exiles Killer Croc from the city, which, come on, I want to see that, but, yeah, and then, one of my main people, I'll put these down, one of my main characters that was way underutilized was Katana. I think she might have had one line of dialogue in the whole movie. Yeah, I think she had one or two lines of dialogue in the whole movie. She was just there, and it didn't even make sense why she was there, and then, there were just errors in logic, but... There was just so much wrong with this movie, I thought, and then the editing was so choppy. I thought the stuff between Joker and Harley would be my favorite part of the movie in the flashback, and Joker's barely in this movie. He's in a decent amount of scenes. They're just 12-second long scenes. So I guess that makes him, you know, has a few... He's in the movie a decent amount, just not time-wise. <laughs> He's there. But, um, I mean, in his presence, it's felt. But, yeah, the editing was just not very good. It was sort of like the regular Batman v Superman theatrical cut. I was just like, you know, there's a scene with the Suicide Squad battling the, if you saw the movie, you know what I mean, battling these people who have acne everywhere. And Harley just goes in this elevator and, and then she leaves and it's like, that didn't flow at all. And yeah. Oh, and then Slipknot. If you saw the movie, you know what I mean. But overall... What the hell was that? Uh, I, mm, I was so pissed off leaving the theater both times. I cannot recommend someone go see this movie. I think it's a, I think it's bad, bad movie, like really bad movie. It's probably my worst. My, I wouldn't say it's the worst movie I've seen this year, but it's my most hated movie of this year. I think I have it number eighteen out of twenty one of films I've seen this year. But yeah, so that's my review of Suicide Squad. And I'm gonna give Suicide Squad a three out of ten. I thought the the Suicide Squad itself was cool, the 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 actual the gang that was all together, but I hated the villain, hated the pacing, I hated the freaking Joker. Um, oh, and then one thing I forgot to mention: Rick Flag was. Ugh, he was. In, I love Joel Kinnaman. He's in one of my favorite shows, The Killing. First two seasons, the first two seasons are great of that show. The rest is kind of like this, but he just wasn't that great. His Rick Flagg and June Moon, who was Enchantress, their relationship didn't, I didn't buy it at all. But anyways, guys, let me know what you thought of Zoo Zed Squad. I'm going to give it a 3 out of 10, and to compare that with the other two DCEU films, I gave Man of Steel an 8 out of 10, and I have the Batman v Superman theatrical version an 8.75 out of 10. So, that is my review of Suicide Squad. I'm going to be posting a spoiler-filled review, because I have a lot more to say about this movie. Yeah, I do. So, if you guys have seen Suicide Squad, let me know in the comment section what you thought of it. And, yeah, so, thanks for watching my review, and see ya.